I've got some 35 years of experience in the maritime sector. Uh, I started out as a, uh, an engineer officer in nuclear submarines in the Royal Navy. I then moved into defence procurement where I ran the attack submarine programme uh, within the Ministry of Defence and I was, my final role was as Director of Nuclear Propulsion where I ran the uh, Ministry of Defence's Nuclear Propulsion Programme. Uh, I then moved into industry and I was the Programme Director for Dreadnought and I'm now a Senior Advisor for Newton. There are many challenges. I mean, first of all, there's great opportunity because there is more investment going into the defence uh, sector and defence procurement, certainly over the next 10 or 20 years. But at the same time, uh, we've never seen uh, more pressure to deliver to schedule um, within cost and to get the performance that the requirement uh, demands because we live in an uncertain world with ra rapidly changing threats. At the same time, there's the advent of new technology, which is in some ways a great uh, enabler, but also can be a challenge in its own right. But at the same time, we've got to cope with the demographics. Lots of good young people coming into the sector, but also quite a lot of people who are approaching retirement age, which go out the door with some experience. So there's a great opportunity, but there are some significant challenges. I think when I first started working with Newton, it was uh, they'd done a piece of work very soon in my, uh, in my time in the role, which looked at a particular problem we're having and did it from the perspective of understanding the data and the processes beneath it. It was based on hard evidence. It was also done at pace. I was surprised at how quickly they could get hold of this information and turn it into something which we could look at and make decisions on. It was then a question of sitting down with us and saying, what do we need to do about this? And it was working very much with the team, not only the management team who uh, would have to deliver it, but also with the people on the shop floor who actually were operating this on a day-to-day -day basis. And the Newton's team had the emotional intelligence to be able to cope with both of those. I think that's quite rare. So we then looked at how we would tackle that particular problem. Uh, we agreed a way ahead. We came up with a plan of, uh, of work. And then Newton's helped drive that plan of work, but held us to account for delivering our bit of it as well. And then over time, they gradually helped us to adopt the new way of working, made sure it was rolled out, and then gradually backed away from the process to leave us to manage it ourselves. That's the other thing I valued was when it was done, they, they went, because actually we have to manage this on our own. We want an accelerant. We want people to help us solve our problems. We want them to go. And I think they were happy that when their job was done, it was time to go. You're working with people who understand an awful lot about what they do, but sometimes when they're very close to it, what they lack is the ability to not only do their day job, but to analyse some of the underlying problems of that. And not everyone can do that. If you can get somebody in to, as a trusted um, uh, advisor to help you through some of those problems and then help you resolve them, then go. That is a powerful relationship to have from both a client and, uh, and supplier perspective because it means you can actually solve your problems at pace and you don't have to spend too much time working out how you're going to tackle it. And sometimes you can get people in for a relatively short period of time to tackle a specific issue and then get them to go. If you do that wisely, that can be quite an accelerant for your business. You can solve quite a lot of problems quite quickly. I think too many occasions that changes are made based on opinion and flaky data uh, we gathered huge amounts of data, but it wasn't always what we needed to then move the business forward and make some changes. So I think that the, the ability, first of all, to gather the real data, the real evidence of what actually is going on, and then be able to then work out what we need to do in terms of changing those processes to overcome those particular challenges. Such it's compelling, and I think if it's well worked through, then the evidence for the change is compelling and I think the other thing you've got to be able to do is to persuade the people on the shop floor and the managers are responsible for it that this is the right way to go. It's that combination uh, which um, I think is highly effective. Newton provided two things really. One was the intellectual leadership to enable us to uh, look at a complex problem and help us navigate our way through it to an effective solution. And the second thing was to arm um, the leadership of my business with the information, uh, the, the tools and the processes to go from our current state to where we wanted to get to. And it was the combination of those two which was a powerful uh, effect on the business.